Hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome. I'm Holly Golightly. This is Perfume Vegas, and welcome back. I am filming for you today my October, yeah, the haul, my perfume haul for the month of October. So just to sum up, because I've done this for a couple months now, and I don't know if I've like really talked about why, um, I decided that instead of being like hauling and hauling and hauling and hauling perfume that I'm buying just to haul, that I was only going to do one haul for the month. And that way I felt no um, impulse or desire or need to purchase excessive things just to haul them. So uh, that's why I'm doing monthly hauls. <laughs> that's why I swear my hair, I look like an Irish wolfhound. Oh, it's so frizzy. Anyway, we'll just get started. <laughs> All right. So obviously the first thing that I got in October well, the first thing I think I showed you that I had purchased in October was this Sephora Favorites perfume sampler set. I have not redeemed it yet. I haven't been into Sephora since um, whenever the last time I redeemed a Sephora Favorites sampler set was. Um, so I don't have the fragrance. I can tell you I'm in... Re bleh. I can tell you I'm a redeem for ombre leather. I think I've already said that, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Okay, so let's move on. I do have a bunch of just a random assortment of things. Another one that I have shown already on the channel that I've talked about is Ocean from Collage Perfumes. This is a niche perfume that I picked up. Like I said in that video, I'll link up here somewhere. I was just really, I just wanted to buy a new niche fragrance. Oh, I just like, I just love this. I just love this fragrance. Um, I haven't really gotten into wearing it yet because I was going to, I was just kind of holding on to it for this video. But now that I've talked about it more than once, I um, will start wearing it. Um, if you didn't watch the previous video because I told you not to because you didn't want to get offended. Um, this is from a brand Collage Perfumes. They're out of Romania. The perfumer on Ocean is Miguel Matos and the fragrance is a sweet floral um, aromatic type of fragrance with an animalic um, patchouli and amber base. It's very daring, sexy, but also quite quite feminine feeling, um, not for the wearer, but the scent itself. And Ocean is a Yorba fertility goddess and also a river goddess. Um, the Yorba people are uh, West African tribal people. And that's where there's a whole um, lore. There's a whole lore in that and she's very important to many different religions uh, stemming from West Africa and the fragrance itself is a limited edition parfum, extra to parfum. And it's just perfect. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's very well done. Uh, it, it fills the lore of ocean very, very well. Um, it's extremely well crafted and then the, the packaging and presentation are on point. So very, very highly recommended. I don't know right now if there's any available um, still. I ordered mine from Lucky Scent. They are sold out on Collage Perfumes website, but you could check Lucky Scent for samples or if you want to pick up your own bottle. Another one that I got fairly early in the month, but I didn't talk about at all, was Alien Mirage. Um... I picked up Alien Mirage because I found it for pretty inexpensive and I wanted to try it. <laughs> when I tried it, I realized I absolutely love it. I ended up passing on um, my Alien Sun Essence Or D'Ambra or Ombra D'Or, 
I think it's Ombrador, um, to Aiden, who you know as um, English Prof Style here on YouTube, because I just didn't need two very light flankers of Alien, and this scent I prefer. It's a... Um, um, a mineral it is a like it has a really weird composition style thing where they've broken it down into part one part two part three instead of like notes um but it is essentially like a minerally sort of aquatic fragrance a lot of people say that there's a pretty poor lo like longevity and sillage with this and i think that the reason <laughs> the reason that it feels that way is because the perfume itself is a very lightweight fragrance. Um, the alien DNA is present, but it's not extremely heavy. And the fragrance itself is very light to wear. I've noticed that this scent on its own on my skin is about four hours of wear, which is, I mean, not the best. But if I want to really get the most out of it, I just layer it up with the original alien and wham bam thank you ma'am it works for at least six to eight hours so i think this smell is beautiful i think more people would be talking about this if there wasn't such a perceived problem with longevity here um but in to my in, in my opinion there's no problem with longevity in that it is just a light sorry you guys my camera died Ugh. And my hair is ridiculous. The next two I have are indie fragrances. I have um, the fragrance Wither from Darling Clandestine. This was the, I think this, <laughs> I think this was the August pre-order. Like it was like August, September. I got it. I, I received it in October though. Um, there was up until a couple of days ago, I'm not sure now, some um, excess, like, um, extras available in her shop. So I'll link her shop down below if there's anything that interests you there, if there's anything that's left. I'm not sure uh, because I know the quantities are pretty small, but I'm really enjoying this fragrance. This was something that I already owned in a smaller version and I decided to pick up the 10 mil rollerball and quite happy that I did, must say. The other um, indie fragrance that I purchased was actually inspired by my own video when I was doing the Indie Scents, um, I'm not sure which video it was, it was either the Indie Scents, um, my, like, top indie scents or something. There was a recent video I did. I'll put it up here um, where I talked about the Arcana Soaps fragrance uh, bod. And I wasn't sure if Arcana was still a thing, if they were still making perfume. Comes to find out they are. They go by the name Arcana Wildcroft now. Yeah. Um, and I went on their website. Yeah. Arcana Wildcraft. I went on their site and I was looking around. They actually did have a couple of older scents from their previous collections, but none of the ones that I had talked about, unfortunately. Um, but there is one called Two Finger Ballet. That's from the same collection that one that I own called Twirling the Pearl is from. It's all about, you know, giving your lady selves... Um, you know, <laughs> I don't want to get monetized. I'm not, demo I'm not monetized. Um, but anyway, they also had a selection of layering notes and I picked up one called pollution, which I know sounds weird, but it's supposed to smell like fire burning, um, like tar, um, just the scent of like dirt in the air. It is amazing. You could wear this on your own. You could wear this on its own if you are a daring type of person. Absolutely. I'm trying to 
or to layer like I got it to layer with fragrances that are a little bit too sweet for my taste um it smells so good it smells similar to another indie scent that I've mentioned before feast day by the now defunct alchemy apothecaries um but without the bacon note it's more of just a a smoke a like a fiery smoky note um it does have some of that ozonic um hot metal tarry note stuff there i don't even know how to describe it properly but i'll link pollution down below so you can read up on it um, I'll put the notes or what, how they describe it as well. Um, so I picked that up from Arcana and I'm really happy that they're still kicking and making fragrances because they do do some of the best indie fragrances in the business, in my opinion. And then the other indie scent that I got this month is my most recent purchase. It just arrived yesterday. I picked this up from the Mona Lisa Halloween fragrance release um and so i actually forgot about the release and i missed two i missed two of the scents that i wanted they weren't available in eau de parfum or oil so bummed but i'll get over it um but i did get this this is gilded bat and i'm gonna put the notes down below for you but this is just a delicious boozy chocolatey patchouli sexy gourmand type of fragrance that um has a really nice boozy quality to it um oh my god it's so good it's like someone took like a boozy fragrance and a coffee fragrance and a gourmand chocolate fragrance and a marshmallow fragrance and just rolled it all up into one uh, it's so, so good. And there's also a sample of Raven's Claw. <laughs> that was nice of me. There's also a sample of Raven's Claw in here that I haven't tried. And I am looking forward to testing that. But the Mona Lisa Halloween release is selling out pretty fast just because they're limited to stock on hand. So I will link that shop down below. Again, if you're interested, go check out. She does phenomenally good blends as well. Um, I would say if you're talking about indie perfumers who are the best at what they do, like these are houses at the top of their indie game for sure. And then the two uh, surprises, the unexpected fragrances that I didn't intend to purchase, but... I got an email from um, the cosmetics company store, cosmetics company outlet, that they were having a clearance sale. So I went in and I came out with two fragrances um, just to give you guys a rundown. CCO or CCS, cosmetics company outlet or cosmetics company store is the Estee Lauder overflow. Um, so basically anything from... Estee Lauder's prestige brands that is overflow product gets sent there. There's also a somewhat um, equivalent version of a store for Lancome and it's called the Luxury Beauty Shop, I think. Um, I'll, I'll write it again. I'll write everything. Um, but And that's Lancome's overflow store. Um, to, in my opinion, the CCO is better. You get better deals than um, the beauty, the beauty, the the luxury beauty store. Uh, I don't know. I just I, if that's just a personal opinion because the brands that I like tend to be at CCO, or if it really is that way. But I have both here in Las Vegas. I've shopped at both. So anyway. These both came from the Cosmetics Company store, Cosmetics Company outlet. Um, and then the first one I picked up, so I was so, so excited 
to see this. Um, I've been wanting it since it was released. I think it was originally released as a limited edition in 2014 and it's come back like every Christmas time and I've wanted it, but I've never pulled the trigger. And then it was at the CCO and it's Joe Malone orange bitters. And I did pick up the hundred mil size because it was priced so well. And uh, I just love this scent. It smells like oranges. It smells like cloves. It's just, it's really nice. It makes me really want Christmas to come. Um, and it's funny because I think I have seen uh, Yana at The Scented talk about this fragrance. Um, and I just, every time I hear her mention it, I'm like, oh, I really need to get that. And I finally picked it up. It's beautiful. It is a Joe Malone fragrance. It's not the greatest lasting power. It is a cologne. Um, it's better than, no, actually, you know what? It's not better than Woods Agency Salt. It's probably equivalent to Woods Agency Salt, um, but it's not as good as the white jasmine and mint that I have for lasting, for lasting power. But the scent is so gorgeous. With 100 mil, I don't feel bad about reapplying. So yeah, that is Orange Bitters from Jo Malone. And then the last one is the weird outlying fragrance that I don't really know what I'm doing with. Um, I was actually thinking about picking up Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. They had it in stock there, um, but it was just pretty heavy on the cherry, the artificial cherry and almond scent, a little overwhelming. Um, and they had one 100 mil of Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. And so this was such a good price that I ended up picking it up. This is an amazing fougere. It's so pretty. It's just, if you like a fougere scent, even as a, as a woman, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Like this is absolutely up there with some of Tom Ford's best fragrances. Sorry, I'm just wiping my fingerprints off because I'm slightly neurotic. Um, the only thing is, I don't know that I would wear this enough to have this giant bottle of it. I was really hoping they'd have Cafe Noir in the stock. They didn't. Um, but... I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to wear it, see if I think I'm going to get enough use out of it to keep it. If not, I'll probably pass it on to someone. But the deal was just like it was too good to pass up as 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 a consumer who also is thinking about um, the longevity, the lifespan of your product. It's like. Yeah, it's 100 mil, but the 50 mil was like $50 less. So it was, I had, I, I had to go for the 100 mil. I just had to. They had quite a few different, um, expired, expired. They had quite a few different, um, Tom Ford fragrances in stock when I went, um, if you have a cosmetic company outlet near you, you might check, especially if you're looking for something like Tobacco Vanille, um, Lost Cherry, Fucking Fabulous was there, um, or any of the ones that have been discontinued recently, definitely take a look. So you guys, that was my perfume haul for the month of October. I am definitely planning at least one purchase in November. I'm going to be picking something up during September, September. <laughs> I'm going to be picking something up during the Sephora sale. Um, I've already got the money set aside that VIB sale starts on, let's see, on Tuesday for me. <sighs> if I can make it till, the, till then. Um, so I'll have at least one to show you next month. Um, if you want specific reviews of any of these fragrances, let me know in the comments for Ocean and for the Sephora favorites box. I will link those I've already talked about. 
And otherwise, all the information that you might be interested in hearing more about is going to be down below. And if I forget something, let me know in the comments. I'll add it for you. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next one.